today we're going to differentiate between derivational morphemes and inflectional morphemes. These morphemes are under bound morphemes. As we all know that bound morphemes are dependent morphemes that cannot stand on their own. They need to be attached to the free morpheme so that they can actually stand on their own. However, by nature, they cannot. They are dependent. Now, now we have derivational. Their function is to create new word or create new meaning to the word. On the other hand, inflectional morphemes, they just add grammatical information to the word. So, what we're going to do is we're going to right uh, we're going to draw a mean uh, star if it is derivational and we're going to uh, illustrate smiley if it is inflectional now the clue word here derivational basically they are affixes certain like prefix and suffix so they don't show a, any grammatical relationship they just add or create new meaning however in inflectional there's only one affix and that is suffix and they actually they are actually an in E S I S uh, E R I N G E D so or apostrophe S for uh, possessive uh, type of inflection. So now it's your turn. So what I'm going to do is tell me whether they're derivational or inflectional. Okay, now let's identify where is the affix on the word pinkish. So we're going to underline the word this one. That is the the affix. So this one, the pink is the free morpheme attached with the bound morpheme and identify is from pink to pinkish. So that's adjective. So basically, they don't show grammatical but they show or they create new meaning. So therefore, this is heart. A uh, heart, sorry, star. Now, how about the word recover? What is the uh, affix of this one? We have the word re. So from cover, create when you attach uh, another affix, create new meaning. So from cover to recover are different things. So therefore, this is star. Okay, how about this one? Speak, speaks. Does it change the meaning? No. They just add a grammatical information. Therefore, this is smiley. How about happy to unhappy? Does it change the meaning? From happy to unhappy, yes, they change their meaning. So, this is star. How about the word memorize? From memory to memorize. From noun to verb, they change their meaning. Okay? So, therefore, this is star. Next, disagreeable. From the word agree, positive. Then disagree, so negative um, connotation for an action. And this agreeable, so the word, the, the affix this and the suffix able, they change their meaning from the word agree. So therefore, this is star. How about John's? John and the with the apost apostrophe S. Okay, does it change the meaning? No, it doesn't change the meaning. It does show possession to, to John. So therefore, this is smiley. How about Ethan? Eat, ate, eaten. Does it change the meaning? No, it does not change the meaning, but it just changed the aspect. So therefore, this is smiley. How about inform? Inform, informing. It does not change the meaning, but it only changes, uh, shows grammatical aspect. So from inform to informing. So therefore, this is smiley. How about lovelier? From love, lovelier. So th therefore, this is an example of uh, inflectional, nanoman, because there is what we call comparative. So that's comparative, it is just a way of a grammatical information. So this is smiley. So in other words, to easily identify whether the word or the morphemes are derivation inflectional, just look at uh, the word, whether they change or not. If the meaning changes and create new word or create new meaning, Usually, create new words are called to be a derivational morphemes. On the other hand, inflectional morphemes, when you just analyze whether when you put a suffix, does it create new meaning? No, it doesn't change the meaning. So, therefore, it is just a inflectional or grammatical information. So, I hope you understand the lesson. Okay, it's your turn for your activity. See you. Bye.